Habib Nurmagomedov made his return to the octagon last night with a destructive unanimous decision victory against Edson Barboza at UFC 219. The victory extended the Dagestani fighter's unbeaten MMA record to 25-0 and his UFC record to 9-0. And next, the Eagle wants fellow lightweight division rivals Tony Ferguson and Conor McGregor. In the same night, Khabib had missed 13 months of action since his last fight against Michael Johnson at UFC 205 in Madison Square Garden and infamously had to pull out of his scheduled bout with Ferguson at UFC 209 after falling ill while attempting to cut weight. However, the 29-year-old's time away from the octagon has evidently done nothing to diminish his ability to dominate his opponents, as he proved with a dominant display against Barboza last night, a victory which also earned him performance of the night honors. And the Dagestan native's confidence hasn't waned either, as he issued a challenge to both interim lightweight champion Ferguson and actual lightweight champion McGregor, stating that he'd take them both on in the same night. Speaking during a post-fight hit press conference, Khabib said, Tony or Conor, don't matter. Maybe they're dot maybe, if the UFC approves, I can fight with these guys in the same night. I swear, no joke. Maybe I have to stay humble, but tonight, I have to smash these guys and get these guys back because these guys talk too much when I'm injured. While Khabib's line may sound a bit like bluster, it's worth noting that the former World Sambo champion does have previous experience of taking on multiple opponents on the same night as he captured the 2008 Pancration Atrium Cup after recording three victories in one night before a year later defeating both Zed Akund and Elder Eldarov at the Tsumata Fighting Championship 3 in Agbali, Russia. Could either Ferguson or McGregor end Khabib's relentless march through the lightweight division, or will the Dagestani fighter continue his undefeated streak, no matter who he faces? Have your say in the comments section below and on our Facebook page.